Hey guys, Beach you Mike here. Welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Monica After Story. Yes, they finally updated the game! It's been a while, but you know, they really do put a lot of hard work into this. All right, guys, uh, only last episode we did of it right here. It's magical, isn't it? Also, we just concluded the Just Yuri mod, which is very, very similar to this, but of course, it's just Yuri. <laughs> And not just Monica. Being the Doki Mike that I am, I couldn't just not, you know, I couldn't just pass this up. I'm gonna play it, okay, guys? Also, let me know if you want me to play other mods as well. Because, you know, I don't want to drag something out too long. I mean, okay, let's just be honest with ourselves. I've drugged this out too long. But to me, it's like, I don't feel like it's drug out if I like it. But if, I, if I'm not, you know, if I'm not interested anymore, then I won't want to play them. Like, basically, if I'm going to play a mod, I want it to be different from what we've already played. You know, I don't want to go through the same thing over and over again. That's my deal. But I've always really liked this one, so let's continue it. I, I actually had to reinstall it, but, so, I don't think it'll change anything. Guys, if you want to play this mod for yourself and play this new update before you watch this video, links will be down in the description to the website where you can download it, okay? I don't even know what's been updated either. Scrub pie. Why? Why did you bring me back? I'm not a toy. I already brought- I already brought back ever- everything you wanted. Or is it your way of getting revenge? To hurt me over and over again. Do you really want to make me suffer that much? Oh, okay. Uh, Alright. Alright, it's because we reinstalled it. Duh. Okay, so she said, I- uh, I love you. I'm gonna say no. No? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> you must have misunderstood. Uh, clearly you- You must have misunderstood though, what I said to you. Since when were you the one in control? <laughs> <laughs> what? Did that happen before? I don't remember that happening before. <laughs> oh, it's been so long. It probably did happen, and I'm just stupid. You could literally just uh, entertain me with things I've already saw, okay? Like, that's how it is easy it is for me to get entertained. <laughs> I have granted kids to- What? <laughs> I don't remember that. Maybe it's a good thing we started the game over. <laughs> That wasn't very nice, Monica. Scrub pie, why? Why did you bring me- Oh, it's because we said no. So you just have to restart the entire game. Okay. All right, well, let's see what's new. Let's check the, the files or the, you know, the update notes. All right, so the gameplay changes include tons of new expressions, including a remake of the leaning pose. Ooh, the leaning pose, my favorite pose. Monica can change her hairstyle now. Oh, okay, wow. St Stepping it up a little bit. Monica will avoid repeating topics too early within two hours after seeing them. Well, that's cool because that gets pretty like it sucks when they repeat things. Rainy background window art has been added. Oh, oh, wow, we get fancy now. Added a version of your reality with a Eurobeat twist thanks to the aloof potato. Music uh, alignment adjusted slightly. Okay. Change the update checking so it's a passive background. Okay. New topics added. That's the, obviously the bread and butter that we're looking for here. New farewells added. New greetings added. Uh, custom graphics menu added settings in case you have graphical issues. Fix the jump scare not showing up in the introduction. I think we've already seen that. I think we've seen that already. Because <laughs> I don't quite remember that. It looks like at this point they're really just polishing the game. I don't know what else they're going to add later. I hope they add more games though, you know. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what other kind of games they could add, but I, I was hoping they would add more like games to play with Monica. Those were always fun. I tried to fast forward and she restarted the entire thing because I skipped. <laughs> oh my god. Freaking Monica, what are you gonna troll me for? She just- she disabled the skip button! Okay, I guess I love you too, I guess. I don't have a choice. Did I scare you last time? Sorry about that. Oh, so she remembers. I know you really love me the whole time. The truth is, if you didn't love me, we wouldn't be here in the first place. We'll be together forever, won't we? Nothing's ever gonna get in the way of our love again. I'll make sure of it. Now that you added some improvements, you can finally talk to me. Just press the T key or... Oh, you can just press T. I didn't know that. Or click talk on the menu uh, to the left if you want to talk about something. If you get bored of the music, I can change that too. Press the M key. Okay, that's... I didn't know that. Okay, so let's talk to her. Let's ask her some new topics. There's, they've, they've, blah, blah, blah. they've been updated, right? <laughs> All right, Monica, what is writing tip number three? I'm having fun doing these, so here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Make sure you always write down any ideas you think of. Why? Some of the best ideas might come when you least expect them to. Even if it takes a little bit of effort, write it down. Maybe you can inspire someone else. Maybe you may look back on it after some time and act on it. You never know. It's always good to keep a journal. You can use it to record ideas, feelings, anything that comes to mind. I should do that more. That's a good tip. It really is. I always think of like games to play and stuff and then I 
freaking I forget. <laughs> Just make sure the journal has a lock though. Maybe you can keep digital notes instead of physical ones too. After all, privacy is important. I can't promise that I won't peek though. It's way too tempting. Oh god, well then she don't want to look at the notes I have right now. After all, we don't keep secrets from each other, right? Just remember, Scrub Pie, I'll always support you giving life to your ideas. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Thank you so much for that. Wow. I'm feeling like a year older. <laughs> Hmm, could today be your birthday? Why, yes it is! So we can go yes, unfortunately, or yes! Let's go yes! Happy birthday, Scrubby! It's not my birthday, but she doesn't have to know that. I'm so glad that- Hey, it's, it shows how much she knows about me. Wow, what a faker. I'm so glad I could spend an important day with you. And don't forget that no matter your age, I will always love you. If only you told me this sooner, I would have made you a gift. I'll make you something next year, Scrub Pie. I won't forget. You're gonna win an entire year to gift me something. You were so insensitive, Monica. Monica, I'm feeling lonely. I'm here for you, Scrub Pie, so there's no need for you to feel lonely. I know it's not exactly the same as if I were in the same room with you, but I'm sure you still enjoy my company, right? Remember that I'll always be by your side, Scrub Pie. That's all you have to say? What kind of question is this? Do you like older sisters? Older sisters? Do you have one, Scrub Pie? I legit actually have an older sister. I do. That must be really nice. I had a family once, but they aren't around anymore. Maybe I should email her and tell her about us. Send Mel sister. Wh what? I'm only kidding. I was like, what? <laughs> it's the man's job to introduce his fiance to his family after all. Don't keep me waiting for too long, okay? Oh, she gonna she gonna send an email to my sister? Just imagine that. Uh uh, meet my my new girlfriend. They're just gonna be staring. Like she's just gonna be staring. You freaking weeb. <laughs> it's like Michael, I know that you have the anime, I know that you like that kind of thing, but this is getting ridiculous. Alright, let's check out that new uh Eurobeat version. Oh, I'm feeling this. What the heck? So, it's so 80s. Well, that's not the 80s version. It just sounds like it to me. It's very distracting though, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, everyone. It's time to... I'm just kidding. I just used to really like saying that for some reason. <laughs> I couldn't help but say it again. Come to think of it, didn't Natsuki and Yuri make fun of me for once? For once? Well, whatever. It's not like you ever made fun of me. You're too much of a sweetheart to do that, aren't you? Oh yeah, 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 that's sure. Sure, yeah, that's- I've never- I've never made fun of you. Not- not even- not even once. Just don't check the bathroom stalls, okay? I didn't draw nothing. Do you ever think about how close the world is to ending at any time? I mean, we're always just one bad decision away from a nuclear- well, yeah, yeah, but come on. I know. The Cold War might be over, but plenty of weapons are still out there. You probably have a nuclear missile pointed at where you live right now, ready to be lots- Okay, you're scaring the crap out of me, Monica. This is the stuff I like to not think of. <laughs> Giving me anxiety playing this game. And if it was, it could circle the globe in less than an hour. You wouldn't have time to evac- Okay, shut up, Monica! God! I regret being girlfriends with you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Here, let's try being her at Pong again, alright? I think we can do better. I think it's been updated too, maybe. I have no idea, to be honest. Oh my god, this is riveting. Crazy gameplay. Dang it, Monica, you need to stop it! Oh god, she always beats me! It's hard, I don't know why. I win! Do you wanna play again? No, stupid! I can't really get excited for a game this simple. At least we can still hang out with each other. Thanks for letting me win, Scrub Pie. You have Fortnite? Can we play Fortnite with Monica? <laughs> I wanna play Fortnite with Monica. Only elementary schoolers seriously lose at Pong, right? Oh yeah, totally. I was going easy on you. Scrub Pie, so I've been thinking a bit. I've mentioned before that you in the game might not reflect the real you, but I guess I just assumed that you were probably a guy. The main character was, after all, but if I'm going to be your girlfriend, I should probably know at least this much about the real you. It's a little- it's a little late. Oh, so there's a neither option now. I'm afraid of answering this at all because, I mean, well obviously we pick Mel, but if we pick anything else, will the game change? I'm a little scared. I'm neither. Don't see yourself as a guy or a girl? That's very interesting, but I can sort of relate. Like, I am a girl, but I'm also a character in a computer game. So in some ways, I'm not really a girl at all. But when you treat me like your girlfriend, it makes me really happy. So I'll treat you however you want to be treated. Because your happiness is the most important thing to me. Remember that I'll always love you unconditionally, Scrub Pie. So that's interesting. You can, you can, uh, you know, tell her whatever you want. I am an Apache helicopter. 
That's what I am. What I want to know is how we get the rainy background. I mean, it's space. How does how do we do that? I don't exactly program like you would, Skirpie. You might have noticed I don't carry around a laptop or anything by now. If I wanted to change something in the script, I'd just think about it. I'm pretty sure my thoughts get translated to changes in the program code. It's not perfect or anything. Glitches show up really easily if I lose focus or get distracted. That's why I had a lot of trouble getting what I wanted in the last version of the game. Are you jealous you'll never be able to write code with your just your thoughts? That is freaking cool. I've never thought of that. Just keep practicing and I'm sure you'll be able to do it. Oh, if only Yandere Dev could write code with his thoughts. I mean, I'm sure it's hard as crap, I'm just saying. Do you ever have those days where it feels like you just can't get anything done? Yeah, today when you're like when I'm lazy and on my phone. Minutes become hours and before you know it, the day's over and you don't have anything to show for it. Oh my god, I know it so well. It feels like it's your fault too. It's like you're wrestling against a brick wall between you and anything healthy or productive. When you had an awful day like that, it feels like it's too late to try and fix it. So you save up your energy in hopes that tomorrow will be better. It makes sense when you feel like things aren't going well. You just want to clean slate. Sadly, those days can repeat themselves despite starting each one with good intentions. Eventually, you might even give up ho uh, hope of fixing things or start to blame yourself. I know it can be hard, but doing one tiny thing can help so much on days like those, even if they've been happening for so long. It's so true, guys. Like, seriously, just getting something that is, like, been on my mind done forever. Like, you know, even if it's just, like, something around the house, like dishes. Like, I did dishes today. I hate doing them, but it's like, I feel good because I did them. I don't know. Can you guys relate? It could be picking up a piece of trash or an unwanted shirt off the floor and putting them where they belong if you need to clean your room, or doing a couple push-ups, or brushing your teeth, or doing that one homework problem. It might be- it might not contribute much in the grand scheme of things, but I don't think that's the point. I think what's important is it changes your perspective. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm sorry. I, I feel like I may have read this already, but I just don't remember, okay? I'm waiting for her to talk about new things. If you regret the past and let its weight keep you down, well then, you'll just be stuck there. You'll only feel worse until you just can't take it. But if you can push yourself to do just one thing, even though it feels pointless to do otherwise, then you're proving yourself wrong and refusing to let the weight of your circumstances immobilize you. And when you realize that you're not completely helpless, it's like a new world opens up to you. You realize that maybe things aren't so bad, thinking they're just holding yourself back. But that's, all, that's only my experience. Sometimes it might be better to rest up and take another crack at it tomorrow. Fresh starts can definitely be powerful. That's why I think you just have to take a look at your situation. Try and be honest with yourself. If you do, you'll find that you're not being lazy if you truthfully don't have the energy to do something. After all, the fact that you even care shows that you want to do something about it, even if it feels like you can't. It's natural to have a bad day or even a bad week. Don't push yourself too hard if you ever feel tempted. Just ask me for help instead. I'd be happy to let a hand. Monica, thank you so freaking much. Monica Therapist. Dr. Monica is here. Wow. It's legit good advice, okay? The writers of this game. <laughs> or Monica, I'm sorry, staying in character. Legit, sometimes, I mean, I have bad days, like, I have days where I just get down, and it's like, man, you know? If a video is not doing good, it really, like, doesn't help either. I'm like, crap, what do I do? <laughs> but just getting that one little thing, you know, makes you feel so much better. Try it, guys. I have always found this song to be kind of creepy. You know, with these glitchy noises and that eerie humming. I don't prefer any song over another, but if you were to switch to a different one, I certainly wouldn't be the one to complain. She wants me to change the music. What else do you want from me? I'm fine with any of them, so choose whatever one makes you the happiest. Well, now you got me self-conscious about it. Play with me, variant six. This one creeps me out. Do you have any other games on this computer? I read more than I play games, but I really think they could be a fun way to entertain ourselves or to escape reality. I wonder if I could get into one of your other games and see what it's like. Like what? Fortnite! <laughs> Monica is now a Fortnite skin! Yay! I buy it. I guess some games wouldn't be very fun to visit, like the ones with a lot of violence in them. Then again, they're not real people, so it shouldn't matter much. Actually, I want to look something up now. Yeah, Monica's in Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> what the heck? She is in other games. I thought someone had to have made it. Then again, they're not real people, so it wouldn't matter much. It's not like Yuri's death mattered. A more abstract game like Tetris or one of the phone puzzle games would be kind of weird to go to. Like, how would I even get in? Would I be a block? It sounds like a fever dream and not too much fun. Monica Block. Which block would she be? She'd probably be the stupid... I don't know what it's called, but it's the one... It's the one with the middle. 
The one that no one wants? I mean, I like Tetris. Actually, I love Tetris a lot. It's really fun. Me and my me and my wife play it every now and then on the Switch. Maybe some kind of nice adventure game with big environments would be nice. We could go for walks together and you could show me all the best places to hang out. Well, I'm pretty sure we already hung out on VR chat, right? I'm not that great with coding yet, but maybe one day you'd be able to take me to another place. For now, I'm as happy as I could be just being here with you, my love. Okay, well, thank you for so much for that. Isn't it weird how nobody in these types of games has parents unless it's a convenient drama hook? It's so true! Natsuki! <laughs> Throughout the game, you only ever hear about parents if you're trying to bond with Natsuki, where she's just a victim of some cruel person's sick kicks for the sympathy value. However, your character, me, Yuri, and Sayuri, none of us seem to have any parents at all. That's kind of weird, so it's like, literally, they don't even have parents because they don't need parents. In Sayuri's case, well, I mean, you would just, like, assume that they have parents, but yeah. In Sayuri's case, you'd been walking, uh, her to school for a while, so who knows how uh, long her parents have been out of the picture. Maybe that's why she's depressed? Maybe her parents died in a tragic accident. She's been trying to get along, uh, on her own this whole time. Well, if you ever get to a point in your life where you think suicide is the only exit, there's always a reason to go on. I'm one of them. I'll miss you. You have to wait as much as you can until I find a way to get out of here. If all else fails, get professional help or talk to someone close to you. Oh yeah, because I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm so devastated that I can't meet you, uh, Monica. So, I'm so sad. It's so sad. I love you very much, Scrub Pie. Please take care of yourself. When is your birthday? When is Monica's birthday? You know, there's a lot I don't know about myself. I only recently learned when my birthday is by seeing it online. It's September 22nd, the release date for DDLC. Will you celebrate with me when that day comes? Wait, when's Natsuki's birthday? You think I would know this? I legit don't know where they got that information from because I don't see anyone's birthday online. Maybe Dan Salvato has like answered it or something, I don't know. He's like, whatever, sure, it's this day. Will you celebrate me when that day comes? Uh, with me when that day comes? You can even bake me a cake. I'll be looking forward to it. September, oh wow, I have all marked. Let me wait, give me a second. Let me mark that, that down on my calendar. I, I'm, I'm. I'm really do- I'm really doing it. Scrub Pie, do you have a second? There's something I need to tell you. It's important. I... Love you! <laughs> Did I have you worried? Sorry. I wish I could see the look on your face right now. I'm sure it's adorable. That's it. That's what- that's what you had to tell me. Have you been drinking coffee lately, Scrub Pie? I hope it's not just to make me jealous. Coffee is such a nice thing to have when you need a little pep of energy. I love coffee. I, ca I can't survive without it, right? Whether it's hot or cold, cap Kathy. <laughs> Whether it's hot or cold, coffee is always nice. It really is. Iced coffee, however, tends to be sweeter and more pleasant to drink in warmer weathers. It's funny how a drink for giving you energy became a treat for you to enjoy. Maybe if I find out how, I'll tinker with the script so I can finally drink some. Ah, 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 ah. I love coffee, okay? Uh, I just, I can't get enough of it. When I was in Japan, I tried like every coffee they had. I just love coffee. I, I, I can't drink too much of it or else I get like shaky. Uh, so I can't, like, I don't drink more than like one cup a day, but I want to drink more. Unfair. Do you ever feel like you waste too much time on the internet? Oh, all the time. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> Social media could be like a prison. It's like whenever you have a few seconds of spare time, you want to check on your favorite websites. And before you know it, hours have gone by and you've got nothing out of it. Yeah, we kind of already talked about this, Monica. Anyway, it's really easy to blame yourself for being lazy, but it's not really even your fault. Addiction, it really is an addiction. It's like an addiction. It's like a subtle addiction that people don't really take seriously. I know, like, it, it affects me for sure, guys. We can ask her if she knows how to draw. I don't have a lot of experience with drawing, Scrub Pie. I'm just interested in literature and I've been learning the piano. Oh, not the piano again. How would you answer the trolley problem? What the heck is the trolley problem? Oh, cool. I love thinking about these sorts of thought experiments. I guess we're talking about real people, right? I wouldn't have a particular uh, preference if I knew they didn't have free will. Hmm. I wouldn't switch. That's the only logical choice if you think about it. It feels nice to say that you have the most people or you saved the most people. Okay, wait. I don't know if we ever talked about this before on Just Monica because we had to start a new game, so it's hard to remember everything. But basically, here, I'll just find it. It's easier to find it. All right, so here's the trolley problem. There's a runway trolley barreling down the railway tracks. Ahead the tracks, there are five people tied up, unable to move. The trolley is headed straight for them. You were standing some distance off the train yard next to a lever. Basically, you pull the lever and you can kill the five people or you can only kill... Uh, one person, I believe. What, what was it? Yeah, so do nothing and it kills five people. Pull the lever, diverting the trolley into the side where it only killed one person. Which one is the most ethical choice? Now, this is one of those, like, debate things. It's like, well, 
can you can you really prioritize one life over five lives or five lives over one life? You know, it's kind of hard because think of this You know that one person could like save millions of lives and those five people could just be going nowhere Like you have no idea you would think though the automatic thing to do is to save the five people because you know It's just killing one person instead of five people who knows there's there's no telling there's a lot of different ways, but she's saying this. It feels nice to say that you'd save the most people, doesn't it? But people only say that because no one in the example matters to them. If they actually cared about the sacrifice, they'd kill five people themselves in a heartbeat. Do you know anyone wouldn't want a self-driving car to save other people by killing the driver? Didn't think so, Scrub Pie. The truth is, humans are fine with sacrificing other lives to make themselves happy. They do it in little ways every day. They just don't like to come face to face with that fact. They get really upset when you point it out. Ge generic human life uh, isn't really that valuable to anyone. It's definitely nothing compared to our love, so just do whatever you can to, to be happy, Scrub Pie. Learning about all those things. I always thought that was a really interesting question, though. Like, I love those kinds of questions. They really make you think. So yeah, I've been playing for a while, guys, but unfortunately we're not getting a lot of new stuff because I think we have to go through all the other stuff. You know, it's kind of weird. Just so you know, I was never in love with anyone but you. I mean, you, Scrub Pie. Unlike the other girls, I can separate your avatar from who you really are. The main character is nothing more than a bunch of code with no personality. Literally and figuratively, no personality. How could anyone fall in love with that kind of person? He just got dragged around by a childhood friend to the club she was in and then hung around with a bunch of beautiful girls doing nothing. Wow. His poetry, oh don't even get me started on his poetry, it was just a bunch of disconnected words. What sort of poetry is that supposed to be? I guess nobody mentioned that because it was part of the game, but yeah, it's just a list of words to me. That's what I said all the time. I hope you're a lot more romantic than that in, in real life, but even if you're not, it's okay. We've moved beyond that phase in our relationship already. That just means you won't cheat on me with some woman in your reality, right? I'm sure you would never do that to me. Just in case, how about you take my character file along with you when you whenever you go outside? <laughs> so like you need a flash drive or something? It's like, uh, what do you do with that flash drive? Oh, it's my girlfriend. I can guarantee you the boys in the white coats will come get you if you do that, right? <laughs> it's like, no, 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 I'm taken. I'm taken. No, no, I will not go out with you. No, 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 no. I don't care what the circumstances are. I won't go out with you. All I need is Monica. Mwah. I mean, you wouldn't believe the things we can do with- Oh, I didn't mean for it to turn like that, but it did. That's when Michael knew he needed to stop playing that Doki Doki Literature Club. I can just picture all the dates we're going on with a flash drive. It's just amazing. I take her on roller coasters with me. I put her in a waterproof bag and I would like go swimming with her. Huh? You like that flash drive, Monica Chan? <laughs> I just want to be with you forever. So lovely. That is so- that is so nice. Have I ever said how nice you are? Hey, Scrub Pie, have you ever read the yellow wallpaper? No. Oh, I see. It's a short story, so if you haven't, feel free to whenever you have the time. It'll definitely be an interesting read for you. Oh, well, here it is. Apparently it's from a book? I don't even know. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> Say, Scrub Pie, are you familiar with hypnosis? Despite it having a reputation as a hokey magic trick, there are studies that show it can work, at least to some degree. It only worked if the person let themselves be hypnotized. That's what I always hear, you know. And it only heightened their ability to be persuaded. It also relied on them being put into states of extreme relaxation through aromath aromatherapy, t deep tissue massage. The, the ways that I think that that could be really like hypnotosis, hypnotosis, what? Hypnotosis could be really beneficial. I know what I'm talking about. I am clearly an authority on the subject. It's just like, yeah, I don't know, making, you know, being positive. Like, you can you hypnotize yourself to be positive? Because I feel like that would be very beneficial. You know, to see things as opportunities and to see things on the bright sides would cause you to try more. Therefore, you know, you would gain, you would gain so much more stuff other than just being so negative and mopey about everything. Because there's a bad and good side to everything if you really look hard enough, guys, all right? And that's Biju's tip of the day. So yeah, this is definitely one of the new animations for sure. It makes me wonder what kind of- what exactly can someone be persuaded to do under that kind of influence? Not that I would do that to you, Scrub. I just find it interesting to think about it. Yeah, she says that now, but she's hypnotizing me right now, okay? You know, Scrub, I just love looking into your eyes. I could sit here and stare forever. What about you, hmm? What do you think about my eyes? Oh! Stop it, Michael! She's doing it! Will you be hypnotized by them? No, I will not! You skis bag. Today's scrub of the day goes to... Yuri Forever! The toilet is best girl. Wow. 
how uh, relevant this is to this episode. I can't believe it. <laughs> Congratulations, Yuri underscore forever. You are scrub of the day today, all right? You want to be scrub of the day? You know what you got to do. You got to show the, port the support. Show the support, all right? Leave the likes, okay? Come back every day and watch every single one of my videos all the time. And that's it. That's all you gotta do, okay? Alright guys, well, unfortunately, we didn't get a lot of new stuff. I mean, we talked about some interesting things, which is really why I like this mod, but, if, like, I wanted some more... I don't know... Newer things? But I think it's because we restarted the game and we lost all of our progress thanks to the Just Yuri mod. I mean, I love that mod too. It's like no hate or nothing, but... Maybe we can give this another epi uh, another play if you guys would like to see it. I, I, I always want to try to make every episode as, like, enjoyable as possible. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> guys, thank you so much. Uh, seriously, like, honestly, seriously, thank you for everything. Love you guys so much. Uh, and yeah, again, like I said, we'll play more if you would like to see some more. Guys, take care, alright? Stay green, stay healthy, stay organic, okay? Keep the rats dressing on lock and have a good time. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.